In this video, we present an interaction framework to define and interact with multiple virtual information spaces embedded in a physical environment using a handheld projector and a pen. The handheld projector, augmented with a trigger button and a top button, is tracked by a Vicon real-time 3D tracking system. By changing and warping the projected image according to the position and pose of the projector, we create the illusion of exploring multiple virtual information spaces as if using a flashlight. A passive pen, also tracked in 3D, can be used to draw in the information spaces or perform other interactions. Coming into a new environment with a handheld projector, the user first defines information spaces embedded in the physical environment. Any near planar surface can be potentially defined into an information space. To add a new space, the user points the projector to the surface to be defined and adjusts the pose of the projector to make the projected quadrangles appear as upright squares. The two buttons are used to adjust the scale of the squares to roughly match the actual physical size. Once satisfied, the user presses the two buttons together and a new space is added accordingly. Then the borders of the space's valid region need to be defined. Holding the trigger button, the user uses the cursor to sketch out the four border lines of the space rectangle, respectively. If the surface is within physical reach, the user may also use the pen to define a space more precisely and efficiently. Holding the projector trigger button, the user uses the pen to sketch the four border lines of the space respectively and the space is added accordingly. Using the cursor and the trigger button, the user selects and moves an object within or between spaces seamlessly. Rotating the projector rotates the object at the same time. By pressing the top button, the user triggers a context sensitive menu. Instead of clicking on a menu item, the user crosses it to activate it. Crossing back deactivates the item, and releasing the button executes the current active command. For parameter adjustment, crossing-based sliders are used. Similarly, crossing a slider activates it, and crossing back locks its value. Multiple parameters can be adjusted in a single continuous manner. These interactive widgets automatically move and scale to keep the user in context. To get an overview of the current space, the user presses the two buttons together to see a miniature of it. This helps the user to easily locate objects that aren't currently visible and navigate through spaces. When the projector moves closer to the projection surface, the image pixels are concentrated in a smaller region, resulting in a higher local resolution. Expanding this concept to semantics, the user may implicitly switch between different information granularities by moving nearer or farther from the surface. Depending on the context, a flick gesture to the left or right acts as a shortcut to certain commands, for example, page up and page down with a document, or switching between functions with a magic lens. The pen can be used to draw in the information space or annotate on the objects. To annotate on a remote object, the user can drag it nearby and write on it. Once the object is released, it flies back to its original position as if it is spring-loaded. The pen can also be used to perform local interactions with an object, such as controlling a scroll bar. Notice that the pen does not have to act inside the projected image, which enables the user to focus on the information content rather than the interface. The handheld projector can serve as a portable device to process personal information anywhere, and to provide large display and interaction spaces that are not possible on a traditional handheld device. Ah, I got a new email. We plan to have a dinner tonight at Spadina and Bloor at 7 p.m. Are you going to join us? Sure. So, where is Spadina and Bloor? Here we are. It's already 6.40. Better go now. On the other hand, the handheld projector can facilitate casual communication between people. How was the conference you went to? Pretty good. Actually, I can show you my slides. Sure. By the way, I had pictures on my conference trip. You want to see them? Great. How about that? 
That's very nice. I've actually been there. I've been to that spot. Can I show you? Yeah, I've been right there. That's nice. What's that on the poster? Let's take a look. That sounds like a neat talk. Can you make it to this day right here? I have a meeting on that day. Oh, that's not going to work then. What day works best for you? April sixth, maybe better. That day works for me too. Cool. Then let's go for it. Uh, I got an email. Sorry about that. Users can also make annotations and post information that stay in the physical environment, which enables asynchronous communications between people. This floppy drive doesn't seem to work. By the way, In a game setting, the user shoots at enemies hidden in the physical environment with the guidance of stereo sound.